Welcome to my Bake Like a Pro YouTube channel. In today's really fun video, I'm going to show you how to make these really fun mini cakes. For our recipe today, I am using large eggs. We're going to need three egg yolks, three egg whites, a half a cup of cake flour, half a teaspoon of baking powder, an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar, one tablespoon of vegetable oil, and three tablespoons of granulated sugar. So those are the ingredients, so let's get started. For my first step, I wanna sift some of my ingredients. So we'll put in my cake flour, then my baking powder, and my little bit of salt. And I'm just gonna get that right through and then just give it a little push. Perfect. So put your sifted dry ingredients to the side for now and now we're going to start working on the three egg yolks. I'll get my mixer going. I want to start mixing those well. I'm going to add in my little bit of vanilla and then my granulated sugar. And I want to whip this really well for a few minutes. I want this to become very pale looking and it's going to become into a ribbon stage. I want this nice and fluffy. So this is about only one minute later and you can see that this is becoming light and fluffy. It's already changing quite a bit. At this point, I'm gonna add in my vegetable oil. And now I'm just gonna keep blending this. So that's about another minute later and you can see how nice this is. So at this point, I wanna just clean off my beaters. That's good. And now I'm gonna wash my beaters really well and then we're gonna start with our egg whites, which is the meringue portion of our recipe. Into another medium sized bowl, I have my three egg whites. I'll grab my mixer and I'm just gonna start mixing these until they're frothy and then I'm gonna add in a little bit of acid. This is our cream of tartar. If you don't have cream of tartar, you can add in a little bit of lemon juice. If you don't have lemon juice, you can add in vinegar. It's, it, helps, it helps stabilize the egg whites. So at this point, these are just getting loose. They're breaking up. You can see all of the bubbles happening. You can sift in your cream of tartar if you wish, but there's not very much of it, so I'm not going to, but you can if you, if you wish. And now I'm gonna get my mixer going. And I'm just gonna keep whisking. So this isn't even two minutes later, and I'll show you we've got stiff peaks happening. Hopefully you can see that. If I tilt it this way, maybe you can see that. And that's perfect, just like that. At this point, my oven is preheated to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, so it is hot and ready to go. Your oven must be hot when you place your cakes into the oven. So at this point, I'm just gonna switch back to the yolks, and I'm just gonna give them a little bit of a zip, just to freshen them up a little bit. That's good. And then we're gonna take our whites and just take a little bit and then we just wanna fold them in here. We're just loosening this up and making it light. So just like that. Just loosening it. 
You can see how nice this batter is. Very, very light. I'm going to take a little bit more. Get that in there. So I'll show you what we have left here. And then I'm just going to get that in. Now you can add in all of the whites if you wish and then sift in your flour mixture but I'm going to get all of that in there now just like that I'll grab my whisk again my spatula rather so I have that little bit of meringue left that I will lighten up the batter with right at the end. So just slowly get it all mixed in there. You can see all of the flour that wants to hide at the bottom. You want to get all the way around. Whatever technique you want to use, you're comfortable with, try that out. So I'm flipping it. I'm trying to uncover any of that flour that's trying to hide. Just lift it, flip it over, just push gently through it. You can see that that looks pretty good now. You can see all of the air bubbles that are in there. Let's get right to the bottom. And then we will add in our last bit of meringue. And scoop that out. And then gently fold. And that's it for the recipe. So my oven is hot, 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Just want to make sure most of that is mixed in and that's good just like that. For these cakes I am using a Wilton baking tin and then I'm going to start slowly filling these up. And if you want to make this really easy, you can put your batter into a piping bag and then just quickly pipe it into each cavity. I wanted to use a piping bag today, but a lot of people don't have piping bags at home, so I decided to go this way. But it is much easier and less messy if you use the piping bag. And that's pretty good like that. Perfect. That looks good and now I'm going to pop these into my 375 degree oven. So here we are again. I baked my little cakes for exactly 8 minutes in my 375 degree Fahrenheit oven. These brown up very very quickly so make sure you're watching them around the 6 minute mark. Depending on your oven they could be done 6 to 7 minutes. In my oven it took 8 minutes. Right now they're extremely hot. I'm going to let them sit here for about 5 minutes and then I'm just going to remove them. So I've just taken a little silicone spatula and I've just gone around to loosen each one of them. So I think all of them are done. I'm just going to try to get them out like that. These are very, very delicate little cakes. You've got to be careful with them. They can break very easily. So I just took a few seconds with a little silicone brush and I just wiped off some of the crumbs that were on some of them. But here we have them. I've zoomed in, hopefully you can see how nice these are. And if you lift these up, the camera won't be able to show you this, but you can see how light these are. And I'll just break into one right now just to show you. Look at this. Look at that. A very, very light sponge. I went very light on the oil because I didn't want to weigh these down. Look at that. Mmm. Melts in your mouth. Really, really good. 
I can taste that little hint of vanilla. Vanilla is optional, you don't need to use it, but it is nice in this recipe. I made some vanilla buttercream icing. I've loaded it in a piping bag and I am using a number 230 tip. You can use any tip that you like, but this one makes it rather easy. Then you just want to turn the little cake over and then just give it a good squeeze and eventually you'll start feeling that it's filling up inside. That's good, I'll do another one here. You can actually see it puffing up. I'll get in here, another squeeze. And another one here, you can see it coming out. That's the what it looks like when it's actually coming out of the nozzle. I'll get in there again and just give another squeeze. So it's really up to you how much you want in here. I'd rather have more cake than filling. It's really up to you. This is a very, very thin nozzle. That's why I'm, you can see me shaking a little bit. There we go. You can go a little bit more on each one if you want. You can actually see it blowing up now. And there we have it. So, let's just take it and then just break anywhere. And there you see the nice filling inside. So there we have it. Another way you can do it, fill them and then you can take them and dip them into chocolate. That there is not so traditional, but it's another way to go. So that really is it, the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed my video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you wish, I really do appreciate that. If you're on Facebook, you can check me out at facebook.com slash bakelikeapro. That's it for today, and I'll see you next time.